Okay, honey, you go on in and I'll uh, round up the kids. No, you go sit down. You're the one who just got out of the hospital. I smell smoke, don't I? Or is it my imagination? Well, it'll probably take a while for it to go away entirely. Oh, but darling, we're home. Thank God we are finally home. <laughs> you make it home. You know, without you, this place would just be four walls. Daddy! Hey! Hi! Oh! Hi! I miss you so much! Hey, you okay, Dad? Yeah, oh. we're both okay. Especially now that we're back with you two. Yep. This place is looking better all the time. Here's what you do when you don't find the rainbows in this time. Here's where you go when it looks like the rain won't end. Don't cry. One life to live. Ta-da! Yeah, welcome home. Uh, thank you, honey. <laughs> You're welcome. So, what do you think? Ah, uh, I, uh... I... What can I say? Darling, I'm doing it all for you. Oh, really? How thoughtful. Yes. See, I did think to myself, I thought, what good is having an interior decorator in the house if you do not take advantage of her? That's what I thought. What good indeed. I still have so much work I have to do, though. I really do. Have you? Yes. I mean, so much work, and I have so many ideas. And see, I don't want to get bound by convention. No, mm -mm. Oh, God, no, mm. Tina. Nobody wants you to feel bound. Thank God, because, you know, I really think that an interior designer's true imagination should run free. I think that. Oh, uh, freer the better. <laughs> You're a tease, Clint. You're really a tease. You know that I am saving you scads, oodles, scads of money. I am. The only thing this is going to cost you is the materials. That's all. Tina, one little thing. Yes. There is a room under all of this somewhere, isn't there? Trust me, darling. Trust me. Hey, anybody oh, home? Oh, 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 oh. 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 Nice touch. <laughs> what happened to this place? What happened? Can you not see that I am redecorating here? Yeah, and it's uh, it's only costing me the materials, Mo. What a bargain. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be back? Well, I quite frankly can't stop hugging these guys. <laughs> near you. I am so glad you're okay. Thank you. Uh, Cass, where's that thing that we brought? Oh, what thing? You know, that welcome home, Clinton, Vicky. it's so good to have you back where you belong thing. <laughs> you're holding it. Oh, right. <laughs> so. <laughs> you shouldn't have. I'm lying. You should have. I love presents. <laughs> I'll vouch for that. <laughs> Big brother, this is for you, too, you know. Me? What did I do? What, what, you stopped a bullet? You helped put a wife beater where he belongs? Huh? I think that's above and beyond the call. Wow. Bo, Cassie. Well, we knew how much the ones you lost in the fire meant to you. Mm. Oh, they're beautiful. Thank you. We were going to get antiques, but we thought, well, new beginnings and... Yeah. Like Bo and me. <laughs> yes. New beginnings. They're beautiful, Uncle Bo. Thanks. You know, I just don't know where I'm going to put those things. <laughs> we'll find a spot. <laughs> you know, you two have been my anchor. You know, whenever things look bad, and lately that's been a lot of the time, I've been thinking about you and Clint, and, and, and know that you've done it, and you've come through, and I don't see any reason why Bo and I can't. Well, we came through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Cord and I. When you really get down to it, you know, in times of, well, life and death and bad times and crisis times, monies, houses, it's not really that important. It's the people you love, family. 
That's what's important. Amen to that. Oh, Cass and I can't wait to be a family, too, huh? <laughs> we can, too, wait. <laughs> At least until Wednesday. Oh, oh. <laughs> 142 hours from now. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jess. We needed the multiplication break. Thank Joey, you. shut up. <laughs> home sweet home. <laughs> you two are so happy looking together. I mean, you really look like you're in love. Well, that's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. <laughs> Think about going through bad times? You sure know what the good times are. Mm. Maybe we've had our share of bad times lately. Yes, but they're all behind us now, Susan. Come on, baby, let the good times roll. <laughs> What's wrong here, Tina? What's Nothing, honey. Nothing. Yes, there is. No, it's just that I, uh... What? It's just everybody here is so happy, and, uh... Cord's not here to share it with us, that's all. City Hall. Simple, classic, effective. You just don't want to wear monkey suits. Why would you think a thing like that? <laughs> you know the rooms down there are not very big. Now, come on, they're big enough for all the Buchanans. And your family, Cassie? My dad. What about Dorian? No. Well, a June wedding would have been preferable, of course. To whom? Oh, stop looking at me like that. All I want is what is best for best Cassie. Best for Cassie, I know. Yes, well, tell me you don't want to see her on that beautiful day in her white dress against well, an emerald what? lawn with bridesmaids in peach and wide-brimmed hats, huh? You know, I had a talk with Dorian yesterday. She's in a lot of pain. I'm sure she was weeping copious tears for herself. Cassie, I felt for her. <laughs> Why on earth would you? Because I'm a mother and she's a mother. No. No, she's not. She doesn't have the first idea of how to be a mother. Cassie, she loves you. Yeah, her kind of love verges on the lethal. I, I, I agree she has hurt you very badly, but for her not to see her daughter get married? No. My mind is made up. She's not coming to my wedding. A November wedding at the Royal Plaza would do in a pinch. In the Royal Plaza? Yes, the New York Hotel. Since the June wedding is out of question. Yeah, for you, anything of course, to do with Cassie is out of question. it is rather short notice, but they have such an efficient staff yeah, that besides, I'm sure Cassie's they can not get getting married at the, in, in a couple New York, of days. Uh, well, Dorian, right. Cassie's going to get married exactly where she chooses. Money talks, exactly and it's going to have to talk very loudly. We will spare no expense. Dorian. Oh, Herb, this wedding is going to knock the big apple right off its tree. Well, keep it simple. The people we love. The cream of Eastern society. The Newport crowd. We'll have Andrew say a few words. We want a minister's blessing. We'll find a bishop. Maybe Andrew Carpenter's uncle from Baltimore. And then we'll go back to Wanda's and we'll have a real homey reception. We'll have a chef flown over from Tour de Jean. He'll create a four-star dinner. Cassie, I, I don't want to be pushy, and I don't want to interfere, but what about a real homey meal in a home? This one. I'm glad you said that, because I was just standing here about ready to burst. And not just the meal, but how about the whole wedding? Well, no. now, I've been thinking the same thing. I think we should do the whole nine yards. You know, everything from soup to nuts. No, we couldn't. Why not? Because it's too much work. Oh, come on. Who ever heard of a wedding that is too much work? Remember we were talking about the fun times following the bad times? Well, this is the fun time. We all deserve this. Yes, we'll have a regular fandango. <laughs> I don't think you can turn it down, Cass. Honey, you just tell us what you want, okay? If you want it simple, great. If you want it uh, more formal, that would be great, too. Simple. Is that a yes? Bo, mm -hmm. come on, you're half of this. Yeah, well, my half knows when to throw up the white flag. <laughs> <laughs> How can I thank you? You just did. <laughs> That's a definite yes. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Cass, what kind of dress are you going to get? I want to know so that Vicky and I can choose dresses to compliment yours. This is going to be fun. You are so wonderful to me. Hey, I just want you to have the wedding that you deserve. Which leaves me. As usual. I'm the mother of the bride, and I haven't the slightest clue as to what to wear to the wedding. This is it. It's perfect, don't you think? Yes, it's lovely. But, but what? What's wrong? I think you should try it on. Why? 
Do you think it's too small for me? Oh, no, not necessarily. Well, you're wrong. It's going to be perfect. It's for a wedding, is it? Yes, it's going to be so exciting. It's just going to be a perfect wedding day. 